So we're here with a play nitride. Here with a special display. This is a tr transparent special display. So hello. So who are you? Uh, I'm Falcon Liu. Uh, I'm the marketing director of Play Nitride. So uh, is this a hologram? No, hologram. this is micro LED display. Micro LED. Yes, we use the very uh, sub micro size LED chips to make yeah. the display. So is this the 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 new style of display that people are talking about, micro LED is yes. the future? Yes, that's correct. So we use, uh, this is uh, use RGB, three different uh, LED chips to make the display, direct display. What's the difference between this and this? Uh, the two difference is uh, about the size and the resolution. So left side is 128 by 128 and right side is 256 by 256. So what's the pixel density right now? Okay, the pixel density, the right side, it's higher, so it's, uh, uh, we call 232 dpi dot per inch. So that means the, in one inch there will be two, 232 LED chips there. Uh, which is amazing, how does it work? Okay, so... How do you do micro LED? Okay. And how is it transparent? I didn't know it was supposed to be transparent, right? Okay, so the first is about the transparent, because micro LED chip will be very small, and so most of the pixel is empty, so you can see through that. So that's why it's, it is transparent. And for the how to make it, we use the we produce the AP wafer with the chip, and then transfer to uh, the substrate to make the micro LED display. So um, in the future, what's the application right here? Because okay. I thought micro LED was going to be like the OLED killer. Well, the, the for like TV or something. The the application actually for the micro LED applications all kind of display, not only limited to current display application, but also other future applications for automotive, for outdoor, for any wearable need high brightness, yeah. high contrast. Um, but OLED is a uh, different approaches. So currently OLED. Uh, they are starting earlier, so they already have some market there. But the killer we don't know yet because the application requirement maybe uh, for the market maybe will be different. So where are you based? Uh, we're based in Xinzhou, Taiwan. And um, OLED is 30 year anniversary last year, right? Yes. How, long, how old is micro LED technology? Okay, uh, if only talk about micro LED itself, maybe less than f five years. Five Only five years? Yes, but for the LED technology, it's more than 50 years. So we based on the LED technology, the whole, the long history to make the micro LED chips. Is there any chance that uh, micro LED displays will have one or two or five pixel die? Or is it the same chance that this will happen compared to OLED? Uh, yeah, the, for you mean the, for the defect pixels? The, the life of the, the oh. pixel, not defect also. Uh, the, the life? Quality, the okay. no defect. Be because the micro LED is inorganic, so there will be no reliability concern like OLED, because OLED is organic. So there's no need to make a very perfect encapsulation to protect, to pro, uh, protect the display. So it can be, um, it, uh, it can be just open? Yes. And open, nothing will man. happen? No, nothing will happen. It will last for years and years and years? Uh, yes, it will be. Uh, at least with our testing for more than two years, there's nothing change in the open air. How many people work with the micro LED? If, if for our, our company, we will we only have uh, 120 people. 120? But yeah, but for this industry, I believe lots of people, they're working on micro LED. Samsung is working on this? Yeah, they have showed the, the, the wall in CS already. What's the difference between what Samsung have and what you have? Well... You don't that, have a big screen like this yet? Yeah, that, their application is for the TV, uh, big screen TV, so... We, we don't have that kind of uh, facility, fa facility and also some of the tiling technologies. So that's a different different uh, ways or approaches to make the micro LED displays. Is it possible that the Samsung micro LED TV is very expensive? For any kind of new technology, it will be very expensive. Just like OLED in the beginning, it's also very expensive before. But gradually, mm -hmm. it, will be, it will reduce the... How's uh, it going to compare in price compared with the OLED? 
now it's difficult to say right now, but uh, in the future, in five years, five years maybe will be the same or even lower. Nice.